All right, in this video, I'm going to show you how to uh, beat the boss of the Valkyries, the queen of the Valkyries, Sigrund. Uh, so, one thing, I'm just going to, there's two ways I'm going to do it. I'm going to tell you how I beat her on normal mode uh, with the legit way. Uh, and then we're going to show you the cheese way to beat her if you're just tired of it. And you just want to just blow through her, or collect, or collect her Asgardian steel, or whatever. We'll show you the the glitch way so that you can get it. I didn't. I was having trouble at figuring out the glitch way before this. I probably would have done it because I be I played her so many times. But uh, we're gonna give you step by step how to do it the glitch way. But first, we'll do the legitimate way. Uh, I'm just gonna say that I have like a cooldown build here. Uh, that it's that I'm all about uh, spamming the abilities, the runics. So we're gonna switch between the heavy light runics on the legit way, uh, and we're gonna have relatively low cooldowns because of what we put there, and. Uh, actually, the, the the talisman that we're going to use is the talisman of realms for this fight. And the way that we're going to use the talisman of realms uh, is to have it be... Uh, we're going to use it mostly not to attack her, but to get health. So she does drop health, at least if you're playing it on the, the default mode. And... She's just, the problem with her is that she just has about three times more hit points than all the other Valkyries. And so if you were just barely beating the other Valkyries, you're going to struggle with her for some time. So what we're going to do is we're going to take advantage of the fact that each different runic has its own cooldown. They're roughly 30 minutes for the, the runics that I am using. So let's look at our weapons. So the runics that I'm using are the Wrath of the Frost Agent, the River of Knives, and I'm using Blightbringer. Um, I don't know if that helped that much, but I was switching between uh, pommels. Uh, and then we got Rampage of the Furies as our light runic attack, and our heavy runic attack is the Fire of Ares. And so that you see they all, with the big cooldown that I have, like 155 here, level eight, uh, and this is before NG+. Plus. Uh, this is kind of the last thing I did. This is the last trophy I got for the Platinum. Uh, we got these 30 second cooldowns. So we basically only have to wait a few seconds if we're switching between the blades and the axe. And so that's what we're going to do. So let's see the fight. And then we're going to have timestamps in the description so if you want to do the the cheese method, which is a lot easier, once you get it, we're going to go through that too. Okay, here this is. I think the key thing is you don't want to get greedy. You're always going to get slammed down here. Uh, and the first thing, we're doing the, the realm shift so she doesn't get a hit off on us. And we are going to make sure, you want to make sure you're hitting Atreus all the time. Uh, I prefer actually the golden arrows. I don't know why we have the blue arrows selected here, but I think the golden stun her a bit more. But you want to, if you have a fully upgraded Atreus, then uh, he ought to be able to have a very short pause between arrow shots. And you just want to keep on doing that. I was not in range to get her with that uh, light runic attack, but the heavy runic attack did hit her. Uh, I do think that the, the wolves... Uh, talisman or for Atreus is the one that works best so that so that is about a 55 second cooldown I don't know a minute I, I guess it's going to depend on your your cooldown uh, but so we're doing the river of knives here and then we're blasting her with the light attack when we get it see we did the realm shift there we're trying to get in position with the realm shifts so we did a light attack there. Uh, 
light runic, and then we did the heavy runic, which missed right there. But we're always uh, rolling to the side, either right or left. I think I saw one guy that said always do it right. You can block these this ice here, but the last one cannot be blocked. Whenever she's got a red, she cannot be blocked. It's just a kind of a war of attrition here. You just want to make sure that you're taking out uh, more health than a lot more health than she's taking out from you. Uh, if she's flying, if you can get a a shot at her with the axe, I have not. I think that's for me. I'm just not quick enough to get that off. So she really got us there uh, while we kind of missed our our runic. And we use the we use the the Spartan Rage when when we're like out of health. So it's like a health regeneration thing. It's not actually very effective in taking her health out, uh, hitting her, and uh, but it does restore our health. But as our Spartan Rage meter gets away, we should get away from her and set up our next uh, runic attack with the weapons. Right, and so we got the the other realm shift there, and that just let us get into position. Unfortunately, while in the air she, there, even though she was getting hit with the runic attack, she still was able to land. And she's at pretty low health here. We're pretty fortunate. We're not in range for the for most of that attack, but that was still something. And. It looks like we also got some really good attacks into her right there. It's amazing how much damage the wolves do. I highly recommend. I tried several different. I tried the boars. Um, I think the boars didn't really stun her. And this one, the wolves do a pretty good attack. I think there's there's one that, uh, there's a squirrel that drops uh, the, the green health things. But that... Uh, I, that has a really long cooldown. I don't recommend that one. And the other ones didn't seem like they were going to do enough damage. Uh, maybe the Murder of Crows. Uh, you might try that, but I think the cooldown was longer. So, so she did get us in the end. We were at very low health for a very long time. Uh, but once you get the resurrection with the Berserker Stone, then you want to go straight into the, the Spartan Rage. Uh, and that's because you want to you want to get your health up uh, you, before she gets a hit in. If she gets one hit in, then you're gone. And we're pretty low on the Spartan Rage now. We actually want to get out of position so we can uh, so we can. I don't have I don't have the realm shift there, unfortunately. Otherwise, I'd take advantage of it. And we blasted her, and that was enough. She's dead right there. So you can see her R three, but we put in another heavy attack river of knives and and that's it so this was the legit way to beat her but well after the legit way we're gonna show you how to cheese it okay so this is the cheese method so unfortunately it takes fairly high level skills so you need to have this returning storm skill so that's a level five axe skill so your axe needs to be totally upgraded so unfortunately you can't use this slow-mo cheese early in the game until you get uh the the heavy axe but you don't have to use it on the valkyrie you can use it on anybody and we're going to show you using it on some draugers as practice so we'll do the most bullheim draugers as practice and show you that and then we'll show you the Valkyrie fight uh, with with it on slow mode for, for most of the fight. Okay, and then for your armor, you're going to need this Talisman of Betrayal. I'm told you need it fully upgraded to level 6. Uh, if you're in... If you're in... Um, uh, if you're... I think you get this from... Um, Fafnir storeroom, if I remember correctly, um, which is a Brock and Sind Sindri. I think it's a Brock uh, favor. And so you need it fully upgraded. Uh, and when you hit R3, it's it has time slow down. So you're just going to hit R3. So unlike other talismans, which you like hit like... 
uh, L1 to activate. This one you hit R3. So you activate it with R3. That's it. Uh, so the... Let's go look at the practice with the Muspelheim. Okay, to do this, you're going to hit aim, which is typically L2, and then R3 activates this talisman of betrayal, and then you're going to need this skill uh, called returning storm while aiming, that is you're holding down the L2 in most cases, and then you hit heavy attack. Now, heavy attack for me, because I'm using classic mode, is triangle, but for you, if you're in default, it may be L2. So the so the, the things that you're gonna press in the middle of the fight, after you start the fight, you're gonna aim. You're gonna have your ax in your hand, Kratos is going to, uh, you're going to hit this L2, and then you're going to throw it like that, right? But it has to be in the fight. And that's how you're going to get it to go. Now, you want to make sure that Atreus, so I'm aiming. I You can see the smile. I do the heavy attack, heavy attack. And during the fight, if Atreus comes over our shoulder then slow mode's gonna be initiated. But if he's in the view, we're not gonna get the slow mode. All right, so those are our practice runs. You see this smile, we see the throw, right? And we're gonna be looking for Atreus to come over our back in the fight. Now, this is, of course, difficult with um, Sigrin breathing down your neck, uh, so you might lose some health on the way to getting this initiated. You might get beat by her a few times, but we're going we're gonna to practice this in Muspelheim. So here we go. We're out of the view of Atreus. We have L2 aiming. We hit R3 to get the smile, and then we did heavy attack, heavy attack and Atreus went over our shoulder there and you can see how his arrows were in slow-mo and these guys when we hit them they're in slow-mo I believe if you hit R3 uh, it you take it out I think also if you get hit by fire you uh, slow-mo will go out but they're in slow-mo now they're so slow getting up and so if you practice this in Muspelheim, then it, it'll be a lot easier when you get to uh, Sigrin and the Queen of the Valkyries, because she moves really quick and she can just kill you in almost no time. Okay, so here we go. We've got, uh, we're going to start it. So you have to start the fight. There's no way to avoid her smashing you down that first time. And I just like... To go off to the side here we do our l2 r3 heavy heavy attack uh you didn't see him go over our shoulder there so it did not initiate it that first time so we're going to try it again uh but you know not while she's hitting us you see she's given given us the business right here we're trying to get some space to do this okay so l2 r3 heavy heavy uh, and you can see, I didn't see Atreus going over the shoulder, but you can see he's moving slow-mo. Now we can we can dodge. Uh, it's still helpful to, to spam Atreus's arrows, and we pick up a health while she's in slow mode and just let Atreus take care of her. She can still damage you in slow mode. Be very careful about her. Uh, so that's why we're giving her distance, but we can't... The other glitch that I have been told is that with this glitch if you do uh, heavy runics then you cannot do this so we're doing just light runic see she's in the air there she can still stomp on us uh, even in slow motion so we don't want to just ignore her so while we see the red there we keep on rolling uh, so now she's down and we're, we're trying the the distant blades attacks just so she can't hurt us uh, 
and we probably should be hitting the arrows more here. So we're just taking it really conservative because she can break, she can also break slow mode. So uh, it it's potentially infinite, but in practice, uh, I think definitely if she gets a fire hit on you, but maybe if she just gets a good hit on you, uh, then she can break it. And so if you're having trouble recognizing her close in attacks and when you'll get hit and when you're not gonna get hit and when you need to have your shield up and when you don't have to have your shield up, you might just wanna just be real conservative with this. Wait for the, the cooldowns to pass so you can do, if you've got some ranged attacks like I do here uh, for the runics and keep on pummeling her with Atreus but she's still moving super slow and we're doing okay here we just want to keep her in slow mode and see she got out of slow mode so it seems like she got a hit on us and that was enough to get out of slow mode so we need to initiate slow mode again we're trying so we did the R2 uh, R, I mean left to, to we aimed uh, R3 and then heavy heavy attack and we got back into slow mode and we got to see Atreus kind of moving super slow you see that first and now we're back in slow mode and so we can go back to her so you should be prepared that maybe slow mode will get knocked out and just you know so we're just trying to pummel her there and we're going to do the, we're still fairly out of range there. We want to keep on hitting her. You can see that she's shooting the ice. That one piece of ice is like turning around towards me. Look at that. It's like, it's like a heat sinking ice. Uh, but I was able to dodge it because it was in so slow. Uh, so that kind of tells you maybe this kind of cheats because the ice turns the corner. I mean, I don't know how the ice could turn the corner. But anyway, so we've got our our glitch and they've got the, the devs have their cheat where the ice is heat seeking. Uh, so the, the uh, so we're just gonna keep on staying distant from her where she's not gonna get a hit in us and uh, take it conservative by only doing the light runics, not the heavy runics. And picking up the, uh, if she drops any of the the green health nuggets, then we're gonna we're gonna stomp on them, and we're just hitting her from ranged attack uh, right now, just to give her the space. We could do a runic. It looks like she's about to fly. So now when she's flying, even in slow mo, she can stomp you. So you have to give her the respect that she's due. <laughs> And there we go. So I mean, I think if you do the, I think if you do the the glitch, then you know instead of dying twenty times, maybe you'll die five times while you're trying to learn the glitch. And once you get it right, then you're going to be able to beat her every time, and you'll be able to beat her on any difficulty eventually, if that's something of interest to you. But so I, I guess the thing is, beware of people that. Uh, are doing those slams if you see those slams in these these videos that are out there that say uh, hey we did it on uh, top difficulty got a war mode give me got a war uh, you know make sure they're not doing slow mode uh, when they're when they're saying they're parrying and everything so she's on slow mode here she's just taking it and now she's gone and then we can rip off her helmet or rip off her wings and then we get to rip off her helmet and there you go, she's gone. Uh, so, I mean, you might want to do this early because you want to have the, the full Valkyrie armor set. Uh, so you do, the, you do the aim, R3, and heavy attack, heavy attack within the fight, not facing Atreus. Hopefully Atreus is going to come over your shoulder. If he doesn't, then you're probably not in slow mode. And... This is the this is the cheese method of how to beat uh, Sigrun, the Queen of the Valkyries. Good luck. Let me know your favorite build against her. 
Uh, let me know uh, if you've ever done this glitch before. Uh, let me know uh, if, if Sigrun was your favorite part of God of War or your least favorite part of God of War. <laughs> let me put those down in the comments. Subscribe.